After installing Debian 13 Trixie, the first thing you want to do is bring the system fully up to date. Debian is known for stability and updating right away ensures you have the latest security patches, bug fixes and firmware support before you begin customizing anything. Once the system finishes updating, a quick reboot clears everything into place. Next, you'll want to unlock Debian's full potential by enabling the contrib, non-free and non-free firmware repositories. These are essential for anyone who uses Wi-Fi adapters, Bluetooth devices, NVIDIA graphics or simply wants smoother multimedia playback. Debian keeps these disabled by default for licensing reasons, but enabling them makes the system far more practical for daily use. After adding these repositories, refreshing the software sources brings in all the additional packages Debian can now provide. Once the repos are active, it's time to install firmware packages and drivers. This is what ensures your laptop's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, touchpad and GPU run properly. Intel and AMD users usually get everything working immediately after installing the standard firmware bundles, while NVIDIA users can install the stable Debian-provided driver for proper performance. A quick reboot after the driver setup usually solves any hardware-related issues. Debian's base install is intentionally minimal, so this is a good moment to bring in essential applications. Things like GNOME tweaks, VLC, GParted, archiving tools, Git, curl and basic multimedia codecs make the system ready for normal day-to-day -day use. If you're planning to install modern apps like Spotify, Discord, only Office or Bottles, enabling Flatpak support and adding the Flathub catalog gives you access to a huge collection of updated software. Debian 13 ships with GNOME 46, so improving your desktop experience is straightforward. GNOME Tweaks lets you enable minimize and maximize buttons, adjust fonts, tweak themes, and enable tap to click if your laptop doesn't have it by default. Installing the GNOME Shell Extensions package adds built-in extensions that make your desktop more flexible. After logging out and back in, everything integrates smoothly. Privacy and power management are worth adjusting right after installation. Inside GNOME settings, turning off location services, disabling file history and adjusting automatic trash handling gives you more control over your data. Users who prefer manual control can also disable the lock screen. Under power settings, extending the screen blank timeout or disabling automatic suspend on desktops helps you avoid needless interruptions. Debian doesn't enable its firewall by default, so enabling it is a good safety practice. Once enabled, it quietly protects your system in the background without needing any special configuration for normal desktop use. Finally, installing a snapshot tool like TimeShift is a smart long-term decision. Timeshift gives you the ability to roll back your system if a future update misbehaves or if you accidentally break something while experimenting. Setting it up with scheduled snapshots keeps your system protected without any effort on your part. By the time you finish these steps, your Debian 13 system transforms from a bare-bones install into a polished, ready-to-use workstation with proper drivers, enhanced usability, improved privacy and solid backup protection. Your machine is now fully prepared for daily work or content creation, and you're set up with a reliable foundation for whatever comes next.